All right, so we're back today to work on the border on the surface. So we've done, uh, we've added points, we've smoothed the surface, we've added our contour labels, and when we smoothed the surface, it kind of changed our boundaries. So we're going to look at a couple different ways on how we can go about modifying this boundary. So one way is down here along the bottom, you know, between points four and five, what we can do is we can come over here to the home tab on the ribbon, come on down to points, go to point creation tools, and use the option to interpolate. And so that's using the point data that's already in this file for points four and points five. And we're saying we want AutoCAD to place a new point or two new points along that line between points four and five. And we want them to actually be physical points. And so you can use interpolate and then you just follow the command line prompts to add in those new points. So that's one way you could do it. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. So another way you can do it is if you find over here in tool space under surfaces, find your definition categories and under edits, we've got options to change the triangulation of our surface. So you can do that by um, experimenting with add line, delete line, and swap edge. And sometimes by making one or two little changes, that that can straighten out that boundary again. So actually what we're going to do is uh, kind of a little workaround. And so with this, my contour lines, they all look pretty good. It's just my boundary that I really want to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit the surface style to remove the boundary, and then we're going to draw it back in. So I'm going to click on this surface anywhere. So on any one of those contour lines, I just clicked on it, come up to surface properties. And I'm going to go ahead and click on surface properties. It takes me out here to the properties for this surface. So the surface style itself, contours 2 and 10, that's what I want to make a change to. So I'll go ahead and click on copy current selection. It takes me in here. Go ahead and change the name of this to be hyphen SATC. And then I'm going to come down here, click on the display tab. And so my view direction, I'm currently set to any change that I make is going to get applied in plan view. So that's the view from above. You also have options to make changes for the way that this is displayed in uh, 3D. So as a surface model, and then also the way it's viewed in section. So I want plan, so I'll select plan. Come down here and I just want to find this border layer. And I'm just going to turn that layer off. Also, while we're here in surface styles, is if you ever wanted to make any changes to your contours, so right now it's set to 2 and 10, you can do that on the contours tab. Just come down here, expand contour intervals, and your difference between your minor and your major is also always a factor of 10. So if I wanted this to be a 1 foot minor interval, I can change that to 1, and my major updates to 5 foot. If I change this to a 20 foot minor, my major changes to 100 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to 2. So I'm back to 2 and 10. I can go ahead and hit OK here. Hit OK here under my surface properties. And you'll notice that your boundary is gone. So now we're just going to draw it back in with a polyline. So I'm going to first set my layer. So the layer should be C10 boundary. So I'll just scroll down in here until I find C10 boundary. Go ahead and select that layer. And then I'm just going to type PL for polyline and hit Enter. And I'm going to start here at point 0.2, and I'm just going to pick up the node object snap for each of those points that represent the boundary of this surface. And then after I've gone all the way around, I'll go ahead and hit enter. And that's pretty much what our drawing is going to look like. So give me a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this drawing, and then I'll put a view of what I want it to look like when you're done. So that you can go ahead and finish this up. You can print it off and turn it in, and I'll give you credit for completing this first drawing. So just a minute. All right, so here's that drawing. So here's what the, I want the drawing to look like. So get it finished up, print it off, turn it in, and I'll take a look at it. As always, thanks for watching.